What the? Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. And perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here, a specialist in illusions, which means... Regis, last warning. Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. They came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but His Grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Honorietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Bluda is damned, or cursed. What's Cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. This might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Is it? 
Let's see. Expecto Ludum. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. It's so powerful, there's no way to dispel it. Bloody hell, let him out! He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> Hands off my hearth, dearie. You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it! Supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you.
doesn't douse you. you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but just... The boy with the thing for wolves. He should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care Morn as a little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlof, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadlof, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. 
Not part of the plan. Dedloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. Since you brought it up, the knights Dedloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Aqua, Bayrak Baron? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm-hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stalk won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside, mere minutes will have passed. Watch out! Pixies! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
put here to protect the Fable Sphere from intruders. Meaning you. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Ignore him, he always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing, and besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the Red Bee. Where wouldn't it be? For certain no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue bean. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow bean. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it, hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, refers us the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah. Fine. Let's get to work. And 
incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once. That sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess. Who sleeps to this day, I think. Just right. Blonde curls. Rest of the body's too mutilated. Hard to say anything. She got what she deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But, 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 what brings you? You could always have a drink with us. Oh, what? No! Not on your life. I can't barely stand I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. Seen any? Mm, I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Uh, right there, the threats. See, I to a T. Listen, 
I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods pop their clogs. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks, and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well? She and the hunter. Which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you. Not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. The piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. All right, time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Any luck? Yep. Look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm-hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if Little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Sienna can take her place. What? <sighs> Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. They're better to see you with, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. They're better to embrace you with, my dear. And, Grandmama, what big teeth you have. Eh? They're better to eat you with, my dear.
Joss said about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They had escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, gnawed the bark, from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits. Bearded. Drunk. Spattered with blood. I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in. We set off for Nazaire. And I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader. Of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster. Then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. stacked atop each other. What was the tale called again? The Musicians of Blaviken. Huh. You have some link to the town as well, don't you? Mm -hmm. But my tale's not much like this one. Oh, Geralt, Geralt. And they call me cruel. not to be trusted. Night's strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Honorietta and I would occasionally run into them here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world, so some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. That's all. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. Irony's delicious.
This long locks tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. It always grapple up her braid in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Oh. Prince's corpse. Tried to free Longlocks, but fell and broke his neck. So? Got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead laugh was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detloff. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance. But he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not?
A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too? Oh, Mother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Detlaf, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition. No harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up, once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first, but only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared? Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends. Or, I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detlaf now, so this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Goose. That's new. You really aim to concern yourself with that? A true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. Care for a cicorilla? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me, what tale are you from? Sold flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Torius Vigo when I was a child was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood, and the ribbon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers.
give Sienna the ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? All right, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. yours. Now skedaddle. All right. Tell me. What? What you want in return. I'm not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. I... Hmm. Thank you. Out, pixies.
Concentrate, Geralt. Hey, watch it. You stepped on Zampolina. That was my favorite tale. Huh? Why is that? Because it wasn't about a princess. Tales about princesses are insufferable. Homes. Do you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, could be it. <laughs> 